Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be looking at something really, really quick. It has to do with volumetric. So the other time which we talked about Blender 2.8 and a couple of features, I guess someone actually looked at the clips and, you know, was asking how can you go ahead and do volumetrics in Eevee. So today we're going to be looking at how you can do this. This is going to be a really, really quick tutorial. And right here we have uh, Mr. Elephant, all right. This is a demo scene that is made available so you can go ahead and download this demo scene on you know the blender foundation website link to this is going to be in the description so you can get this so without further ado let's get right into this video and you know show you guys how you can do this all right so we blender open what we need to do is you know complete the tradition of deleting the cube so i'm just selecting this cube but deleting it and then i'm going to add a simple grid let's scale this grid just a little bit all right and next up we're going to add suzanne the monkey so suzanne the monkey comes right in here and let's just you know translate this a little bit upwards and rotate her just about this okay so now let's just get this into position so you adding volumetrics is really simple there is actually two ways you can go ahead and add this volumetrics you can choose to add it directly here or you can choose to work with this from the node or the shader editor so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can get this to work but for you to see this in action you need to switch over to the rendered view because we're making use of eevee so right now we can see eevee in action it's live everything is happening really really cool and smooth so what do we need to do now what we need to do is go over to this section or go over to this icon which is called world and next thing i'm going to click on volume and select a shader that's going to drive the volume now the shader which i want to use to drive this volume is known as the volume scatter so i'm just going to go ahead and select the volume scatter and you're going to notice like right out of the back you're going to notice that everything becomes gray all right so if i zoom quite close you see there's a bit of fog around the entire thing but what we want right now is not as much fog as we have so i'm going to turn down the density so the density can be turned down to about 0.2 and maybe if this is too much we can you know turn this a little bit lower so i can bring this down to zero point let's say zero point zero um eight let's get that on the road and yes so we can have something like this if you want to add more lights all right if you want to add more lights you can hit the shift key and a the same way you bring in the other stuff and i can go ahead and add let's put a simple area light here and let me drag this all the way up and let's see how we can scale this and rotate this so you can choose all right so you can choose to rotate this or you can choose to simply pick up the target and you know you can move the target to where you want it to be directly in your scene more like what you can do in maya and cinema 4d yeah so you can do this here and next thing we can go through select this object as it is or the light as it is go over to the light and if we start increasing the light like this is so if we start increasing the light all right you can start seeing more of the volumes you know scattering through this so you can start seeing that the light starts passing through or starts contributing to the volumes that you have the colors itself is also something that you can easily easily change all right so this is one way you can do this now let's talk about the second way which you can do it and what are the extra things that you can do with this it's not like you cannot do this with the first way but you know it's always good to have a second option just in case you're working in a much more complex scene or in a scene where you just want to play with the notes all right so let's get right into this so the next way which we're going to do this is by using the shader editor so you can assess the shader editor in you know either ways you choose or either ways you please so we can come through shading and then we get the shader editor you can come over to window create a brand new window and switch to shader editor you can drag and you know switch this like you can switch this to the shader editor anyhow you choose you know as far as it works for you then it's cool so now i'm going to switch this to ev like we've just done now the next thing which i want to show you guys is whenever you're working in a scene like this and you want to play with the world all right what you can do is you need to switch this from object to world so now that it's set to world you can see the volume which we added before you can see it here the background 
that we have you can see here all right so if you want to drive the background color all right now i'm going to just move out a little bit and explain something so if you want to drive the background color with let's say some noise and environment map whatever you want to do you can simply come to add that here and connect this to this section all right so once you do that if i take this out you can start seeing that the veronite texture that we added directly here is what uh, our software is now using as the background It's now seeing that as a color so you can go ahead and add as much colors as you want and maybe do all of the whole mix shading thing if you want to learn more about mix shading we'll cover that tutorial it's going to be in the link within the description so you can check that out so now we've looked at this all right i want to show you guys one more thing one more thing i would like to show you guys is if you hit the uh, shift a all right you can go over to where you have your shaders and you can bring in a principal volume shader all right you can bring in a principal volume shader you can also do the whole mixing stuff directly here you can you know throw emissions all of the shaders are shaders that you can use for the world so i'm just going to show you guys uh, a little thing with the principal shader so with the principal shader now what i want you guys to notice is i can simply you know pick up this volume or you know the exit shader and plug it directly into the volume so right now i've plugged this into the volume you see we do not have or uh, we don't see the monkey that much now the reason why we don't see the monkey that much is because our density is set to one and previously it was set to 0.08 so let's just simply do that 0.08 and get this monkey on the road now next thing which i would like you guys to note is within the principal shader we have some other things that you can play with so there are certain attributes that you may want to play with so attributes like the emission like the black body tint you know all of these things are things that you can go ahead and play with so let's just take a look at you know the original color and emission so if you want this to actually have a different color so let me go, just simply go over to a section like this you can start seeing that we are not touching the light itself all right because you can notice that the main light color is bouncing off here so we're not touching the light itself but the volume itself is what is changing right now if we go back and say okay now we want this to actually emit a certain kind of color what we need to do is we can come over so let's pick something very far off so we can pick something like the green for example but you don't see it in action now the reason why we don't see it is because our emission strength is low so let's just simply you know dial this to about 0.08 almost the same this is a bit too much so i can just dial this down 0.001 okay now you can start seeing some emissive uh, color all around your scene so depending on what you want to create at any given point in time then you can you know go ahead and use this to style your entire scene so i guess this video or maybe this tutorial is going to be helpful for someone out there and if you want to check out other tutorials that we have done or we have covered for blender or you want to check out some other videos where we talked about different shading methods link is going to be in the description you can also go over to the channel where you can find extensive resources of things that you would like to learn and maybe things that you like to use for your own personal you know production or for your own personal project so this is going to be a about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want me to go ahead and you know explain a little bit more or you have some very specific stuff that you would like me to cover just like this then you should put it in the comment section and i'll be very excited to cover these things for you guys and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification if you want to check out other news or other updates link is also going to be in the description where you can check out amazing updates that have been coming to blender and amazing updates about other software and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace